Michael J. Fox was always my mm-hmm. m- my my favorite. Yeah, he was he was my favorite, and um, I never really accredited one person for making or you know inspiring me to act. But if I was to accredit one person, it was him. Yeah. And um, because Back to the Future is my all time favorite. Yeah. And I uh, I got a chance to meet him. He actually um, he wrote a pilot that never went, but I screen tested for the pilot. Mm-hmm. And and I told him that he like came out to wait with me in the waiting room, and I was like, I just have to, I have to tell you, I lo- I I don't do this. I love you. Like I I love you. I I I you're why I act. Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's really sweet. That's really nice. And he told me, I mean, a great story. Yeah. That okay. you gotta you gotta tell it. Well, he told me essentially like he was prepping me for the network test that I had. The next day for pilots, it's like a miserable acting experience where you have to read in front of a group of like pilot season, as they say, network executives. That Hunger Games meets acting. Yeah, like you're one type, and the guy behind you is the other type. Mm-hmm. And um, and so he just told me he was like, you know, when Charlie Sheen replaced me on Spin City, mm-hmm. uh, I told him the same thing I'm going to tell you, which was, you have to let them love you. Let the audience love you. Mm. And it was like a, a really interesting thing. You just have to be open and let them in. And it yeah. was advice or a story I at least I think about all the time. 